but turns out that if using randomization, you can do it more efficiently. Let's say you have two n by n matrices, A and B. And let's say you want to verify, suppose you want to verify that some matrix C is equal to A times B. So you're also given, let's say, C. You want to, so you, you need to verify a task of matrix multiplication. In general, the best known algorithm is something like order uh, O of n to the 2, 3, 6, maybe something like that. It turns out that if using randomization, you can do it more efficiently. Okay, so let's show how you can verify that a matrix C is a product of two matrices A and B in time order n squared. What I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a random element in the field. I'm going to consider x, which is just uh, 1, r, r squared, up to r to the n minus 1. And I'm going to check if c times x, I guess transpose, because I wrote it, is equal to a, b times x. Okay, so note, uh, yeah, so, so note this is just a vector, and vector times matrix, multi so to multiply a matrix by vector is time n squared as opposed to, you know, the n to the 2, 3, 6. So uh, this is more efficient. Why is it okay? Why, why? So of course it's complete. If these are equal, I'm going to accept. Okay, but if they're not equal, so, so why, why is it uh, sound? Fantastic, fantastic. So most n minus 1, the, the degree, divided by the field size. So our rejection probability will be uh, high if, if, if the ball claims false. <laughs>